Hi, I'm Melissa, your Plantita Abogada, and I'm coming to you today with a solution. I hope, huh? Um, if you're part of any Facebook group, there are chances, chances are good that you've seen the plant identification posts. Ano po itong halaman ko? Um, is, this, is it Squamiferum? Is it a Florida? Is it a Florida green? Is it a pedatum? That is, of course, if you belong to any of the Facebook uh, plant pages there. The Philippine plant community is pretty rich, so there are multiple plant pages, and across multiple plant pages, I've seen these questions. If you're anything like me and you're curious, well, I've got answers for you today. We're going to go ahead and discuss the pedatum, the squamiferum, and the philodendron florida hybrids. Now, as a disclaimer, I am a JD. I am not a botanist, a horticulturalist. I'm merely a hobbyist who reads a lot, who does a lot of research, and just wants to share what I found. Um, if I make my life easier, why not, right? Use the ones, use the information that I actually use while working. And I guess you guys are gonna get the benefit of it. Let's start from the very beginning. In 1841, at least amongst all of these plants that were mentioned, the oldest one mentioned was Pedatum. Now at that time, there wasn't a lot of um, testing as far as plants were concerned, so there's a lot of confusion in the pedatum part of the philodendron family, I guess, the philodendron species. Um, what we know as pedatum is this guy right over here. Pretty multi-lobed leaf, uh, ranges from medium to dark green is an epiphyte, likes to climb, and on average could grow between six to eight feet, uh, six to eight inches, just go six to eight feet, six to eight inches, but supposedly can top out at 14 inches, huh? At that same time, or more recently I should say, came out the philodendron flat hands. Here we go. So if you look at this plant, Pretty similar in that one, yes, uh, Cephalodendron pedatum. There's definitely a similarity as far as the multi lobes, as far as the uh, medium to dark green leaves, as far as being an epiphyte and always trying to climb something. These guys also top out to about 14 inches, are on average 6 to 8 inches. As you can see, these are probably a good 5 inches from the body from the petiole insertion downwards. And then, have a look at this guy. Let me find here. This guy is, was known, is commonly known, I should say, as Philodendron quercifolium. The problem with this is it's also medium to dark green. It's also an epiphyte. All three of these plants share the same care. Uh, they prefer well-draining soil. They prefer dappled or indirect sunlight. They climb. So these three guys, until very recently, were thought to be different plants, but it turns out they're all philodendron pedatums. A uh, philodendron pedatum, philodendron pedatum gland hands, and a philodendron pedatum persifolium. Also part of this family is a philodendron Pedatum polydioides. I hope I didn't butcher that name. It's co more popularly known as Philodendron polypoidioides. Polypoidioides. But I'm gonna butcher that name. But it is in fact a pedatum as well. Now, that is the pedatum side of the family, right? They all share in common these smooth green petioles, as you can see here. There aren't, there's no texture, it's green from top to bottom, Something, another thing that they have in common, and it's a physical characteristic that is very important for determining which of your multi-lobed plants is which. Now, with that out of the way, let's discuss the philodendron squamiferum, which is one of my favorite plants. I don't know if you can see, but I have a huge specimen right here, really bushy guy. Uh, grew in multiple places, isn't really getting really big leaves, but he's really pretty. 
Anyway, this is my favorite, my one of my favorite philodendrons. Oh my goodness, guys, have some shame. Let the Squamy Ferum have its 15 seconds. Here we go. So the Squamy Ferum um, is also another multi-lobed plant. It has medium to dark green leaves, but its most, um, I guess, recognizable characteristic are these hairy petioles, hairy red petioles. So these petioles um, actually have what is called pubescence on them. Yes, pubescence. So pubescence actually refers to, um, oh gosh, let me get this information. I want to make sure I get it right. So pubescence actually refers to soft down or fine short hairs on the leaves or other parts of plants. So pubescence, guys. It's not what you think. Get your mind out of the gutter. It's kind of along those lines, you know, it's soft and fine, short hairs. Maybe not fine, but yes. And that was according to the Google English Dictionary and Oxford Languages. This distinctive characteristic, according to the Grammatical Dictionary of Botanical Latin at mobot.org, the word squamifer actually means bearing or covered with scales. So the scales that's referred to in the name Squamiferum, Squamifer, are these guys right here. All these ferns, I don't like taking them out because they're so pretty, but they're in the way. There you go. So it's these guys right here. Now, this is really important to know because like I said earlier, the pedatum has smooth green leaves, uh, smooth green petioles, whereas the Squamiferum has really fuzzy red petioles. These guys a lot, are a lot like the pedatum in terms of needing dappled or bright indirect light, um, well draining soil. It's a climber, so give it a pole or a tree and it will climb. So once upon a time, the pedatum met Squamiferum. And if you know any good um, stories about the prince meeting the princess, you know that eventually they fall in love, get married, blah blah blah. That's kind of what happened here. We have the Philodendron Florida, right here. Also referred to as the Philodendron Florida Green, although Tropicos, the nomenclature websites refer to it as Philodendron Florida, so that's what we're gonna go with, because scientific names are important, especially when discussing um, identification, right? So the Philodendron Florida exhibits the multi-lobed leaves that the parent the plants do, the squamies and the pedatums. But opposed to that, it has the red petiole that is characteristic of the squamie, but its petiole is not as hairy as the squamie. In fact, it's closer to being smooth, closer. Notice I said that word. Closer to being smooth like the pedatum. It has a little bit of texture on it, but not to the degree of the pubescence that's exhibited on the Squamy Ferrum. And that is how you know that you have a Philodendron Florida hybrid. Um, it would exhibit red petioles with a little bit of texture, but not as bad or not as furry texture, feathery texture as the Squamy Ferrum has. Now the Philodendron Florida hybrids, there are actually three cultivars that are um, recognized right now. You've got the philodendron florida which is also referred to as the philodendron florida green you have the variegated version which is this guy it's such a pretty plant so the variegated version is this guy and just like the philodendron florida it has the red petioles a little bit of texture the red petioles of the squamiferum and a little bit of texture from the squamiferum but a little bit of the smoothness of the pedatum. So it's not as hairy as the squamiferum, but it's definitely closer to both parents than one or the other. Um, sorry, I got distracted, but it should be noted also that the Philodendron Florida Beauty, and that's what this guy is, the variegated version of the Philodendron Florida is called a Philodendron Florida Beauty. 
it's not a Philodendra Florida Beauty Variegata because that would be kind of redundant. But all the tulip that they na Variegata, the Beauty is known to be the variegated version. So Philodendra Florida Beauty also has, I don't know if you can see it, also has um, variegated petioles and it's pretty neat looking and a variegated stem. And I'll make sure to include pictures in this video, but that's another distinctive feature of the philodendron Florida Beauty is that the stems and the petioles are also variegated, unlike the stems and petioles of the philodendron Florida Green or philodendron Florida. And finally, we have the philodendron Florida Ghost. And this guy looks really, really, really similar to the philodendron Florida. Here we go. Side by side comparison. One is a bit more mature than the other. It is multi lobed, medium to dark green leaves, and that's where it ends. Or, no, no, actually, no, I take that back. It also shares the same qualities with the petioles as the philodendron Florida green, and that's where it ends. Unlike the philodendron Florida green, new leaves actually come out white or cream. That's why it's called a ghost. It's really cool looking. I wish this was. A new leaf that popped out but um, it's really cool looking it comes out really light cream or white the thing with this plant that is unique to it out of the three hybrids is that it throws off the occasional mint leaf and I know it's such a big boo-boo you're not supposed to say that there's a Florida mint because apparently it's not recognized it's just a marketing term according to the experts but check this leaf out and tell me that it isn't minty nice green, right? It will throw out the occasional mint leaf. It's really stunning to see. And it will also throw out random variegations, which, you know, I thought I was lucky enough to have a variegated Florida ghost. It turns out it's not really a stable variegation. And, and it actually happens a lot. So a lot of people have these variegations. It's quite normal. You, you don't, you haven't hit the jackpot with a Florida ghost variegata because I guess that would turn it into a Florida beauty. But it's a pretty cool plant anyway to have and it's something that I would definitely recommend. It does not have the variegated petioles and stems like the Florida beauty does have but it is really stunning once this new white leaf pops out nonetheless. So to recap, we just went over the characteristics of the Philodendron Squamy Ferrum right here and the Philodendron Pedatum. And we pointed out the two, the characteristics of these guys that are available in the Florida hybrids that aren't seen vice versa. So if you have a smooth green petiole, it is likely a philodendron pedatum. If you have a petiole that is red and exhibits pubescence or mabuhoksha, it's hairy, then you have a philodendron squamiferum. If you have a petiole of a multi-lobed plant or multi-lobed leaf plant that has redness on it, that has some red on it, and you know is a little bit a little bit smooth, um, kind of like really fine sandpaper, you probably have, you most likely have a Philodendron Florida hybrid. Uh, the Philodendron Florida green comes out green, all of the leaves come out green. The Philodendron Florida beauty is actually the variegated version of the Florida and it has variegated leaves, variegated petioles, and variegated stems. The Philodendron Florida Ghost is very similar to the Philodendron Florida, but its very distinctive feature is that the new leaves come out cream or white, and that's how you know the difference. If you like today's videos, um, today's video, if you have any questions for me, any comments, please feel free to share them down in the comment section below. And give me a like for this video. Uh, share it. And follow the channel. If you actually want a written guide of this stuff, check me out on tastefulnotes.com. And finally, if you need some plant pictures to look at as you drift off to sleep at night, 
visit me at Instagram. I'm on Instagram as Tasteful Notes as well. Okay, until next time, see you guys. Bye. Now I could put these guys back. Is Gus awake already? Yeah, I'm never. Okay.